Hi all, today we'll take a quick look at each of my 12 Casios and point out one cool unique thing about each one of them. I do have individual review of these watches on my channel if you want to know more about each one of them as I will go through these watches pretty quickly. First, the F91W, the original, the most recognized, probably also the most produced, iconic, and I would say full of nostalgia for a lot of the folks here. Secondly, also as instantly, I would say instantly recognizable, it's the CA53. It's the calculator watch. It's got a whole calculator and look at all the tiny buttons. I would venture to say this is probably the most buttons that people have put on a watch. Third, this is the AL190, the huge solar panel that takes up half the watch face and the very prominent text that proclaims batteryless, kind of like uh, some of the modern electric cars with a solar panel on their roof. Fourth, it is the G-Shock GWM 5610. This is the do everything, go anywhere, super rugged, Lots and lots of functions. You can see multi-band, shock resistant, everything uh, thrown in. I would say this is the epitome of a modern G-Shock. All right, let's move on to our fifth watch. This is the G-Shock GMAS 2100 in white. This is the so-called smaller Casio. And this is the most patriotic uh, red, white, and blue colored watch. I have. And now for the steel band watches, the A700, so shiny, so sleek, and I would say modern and retro at the same time. Then I would say the slightly chunkier uh, metallic 168 that carries on the F91W design and look at the cool electroluminescence glow. All right, next we have the A500, about the same size as the A168, but now we have a tiny world map and world time. Look at that. What a cool tiny world map. And if you have a bigger wrist and you want the world map and a little bit more rugged, and if you want to look like you're ready to go anywhere in the world and do some uh, serious hiking and other adventures, this is the Casio AE1200. And it is a very rugged looking watch and 10 year battery. And moving to the last three watches, uh, this is the Casio Lineage LCWM100TS. It's made out of titanium. Yes, it has a world timer, solar charging, atomic radio sync, but coolest thing, it's made out of titanium. So it's very space age, um, or maybe if you're a golfer with a Callaway Great Big Bertha driver from the late 90s. And then there's the Edifice F or EFRS 108. This is the Casio, I would say, that's actually the closest design to the, uh, to the Royal Oak. This is thin, sleek, and I would say out of the bunch, the, uh, the classiest one out of the bunch. All right, lastly, we have a chronograph. The also an edifice, the edifice EFB 700. It's a chronograph. You can see the little number go. It's a chronograph that's, I would say, super well built and just solid, solid watch. And I think it would surprise a lot of people to say that this actually is half the cost of a moon swatch. And so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy seeing all of my Casios.